Hi, uh, so last, uh, welcome to another summer of Big Data. So when I left off at the last time, I basically had, I ran uh, the, the uh, UTLRP, which is used to recompile my, my, uh, my invalid objects, um, and basically just um, bring them uh, to consistent, a consistent um, state uh, for the new environment. So pretty much, um, after that's done, let me just make sure. Uh, select status from V dollar. So my database is still open. Uh, what I need to, what I can also do is, I can run this command. Uh, before I do that, let me just make sure that I have the right columns described or underscore objects. So I need to select now. I need to I need to select object object underscore name status from all underscore objects word status is equal to invalid. So, pretty much, as you can see, I definitely don't write, don't have the right uh, the right version, and that's why all these objects are invalid. And if I and, and another way that you can just make this, um, you know, not have to basically just go to what I want to, you can just issue it to like count from all underscore objects where status is equal to invalid. There you go. It's just gonna give you the count for number of rows. So this is uh, this is uh, it. Um, pretty much by now you should have a a sound um, you know upgraded uh, database. And another neat uh, th uh, thing that you can do as you are um, upgrading your, um, your your database, basically as I told you before, you can you can basically just pull. Um, all your major, um, all your major uh, um, um, uh, operations or actions, so you can just you know spool um, to your to your drive on your on your on your on your, on your system, or you basically just pull this activity and then spool. Um, this is too long, uh, but then again, you can definitely just. Review it so you can also spool this. Um, you can also you can spool pretty much um, all of these activities, but um, but basically, you know, typically, you know, most people will just pull um, will just pull uh, this part, the UTL, the UTLU, the 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 pre uh, installation, and then they would spool. Uh, the post installation. Most users, most uh, DBS do not pull uh, these, um, um, you know, uh, made a massive, you know, operations. The cat UPT, UPPST and the cat upgrade. So uh, your database uh, should be, if you had done everything correctly, your database would be um, would be basically just uh, up and running. Um, by now, um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try try it out. Um, try my own database and see and see what it what er, what error message it gives me for having all those invalid objects. So let me copy this beforehand. So I want to issue a startup p file. I'm gonna copy this, paste it, in it. And also, uh, so after you get your environment uh, up, like you know set up, then another thing you can definitely do is you can um, you can also just um, let me see if I can log into set local ID. You 
can also just create an SD file. So as you know, as you can see, basically I have a PHP file now. So uh, I have to I have to issue a long startup, um, you know, for for my um, you know to start my database. But if you create an SD file, then basically you don't have to you don't even have to put the P file any longer. So that's another neat neat uh, thing you can do. So let's see what this error uh, message says. So basically, it's gonna start, and I and and if I might be wrong, on this but it's gonna it's gonna try an error when it gets to the uh, it's gonna mount the dab is gonna be mounted, but it's not gonna open. Uh, it's gonna say something about maybe uh, you know some bootstrap process or something like that. So as I told you, the instance was ter was terminated. Bootstrap uh, process failure. Um, you know, basically this is this is being shown out because or because my database is not in the right version, as you can recall. Um, you know, the, uh, what it showed earlier. Uh, so basically, do do make sure you have the right version um, for your Oracle database before you before you perform an upgrade or. Basically, this is uh, this is one of the uh, errors that you will encounter uh, if you do not have the correct um, software version. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys uh, um, for my next uh, tutorial.